think we're gonna put some bookshelves behind this desk. It's gonna be like the captain's seat. Do I have a chair in my pocket? I have a double sofa though, which I do want to put in the fireplace. We can warm up. And I think it'd be cute if we had like a little extra seating here and here. Um, a billiard table. Ooh, do I want to do a little office? Or, oh, I could do both. I can just set it up like this. Maybe. We'll put the desk over here with the bookshelves behind it. Oh, that's so dreamful. The, like bookshelf here and a little more room. And then. I think there's still room for a billiard table. If it feels too cramped in a bit, but um, I don't know about that. I don't know. Hmm. Probably not for now. This may be over here. Yeah, I still like the idea of this, this being a little library vibe and then like a little relaxed vibe. So let's go ahead and check my storage for, all right, there we go, and desk. Okay, these are feeling a little bit too, like everything's just looking that way and I don't, I don't really like that. So, I move this here. And reach this back inch. We go. Okay. Now let me grab a DIY table while we're working in here. Like that one. In the corner out of the way for now. Let's go grab those books. Oh no, it's only four. I might have another one in my pocket. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. We're gonna need more books. Um, how do I craft book elves? See. Oh, I just need some wood. Okay. There we go. I made a wooden bookshelf. Yeah, I did. Okay, and then I think I think these are really light. But we want like a darker wood. Yeah, that seems a little too light. We want a rich mahogany. 
Let's go. Never can have too many customization kits, y'all. do like a little plant there or something and I don't know we're gonna this this is a little work in progress area let's uh let's take a look at what other furniture yeah I wanted to do like a little sitting spot and I think we have everything we need for that out the gate so let's do that um there and a little mini table. Oh, I love the lace pattern on it. It's so cute. And another chair. Okay, this is this is starting to come together. I am um, really liking that. Um We can scooch everything around just a little bit. Hmm. Don't want them right against the wall. Let's put it right here. And. Do you like these facing the table? No, I feel like it, like, facing out, yeah. Hmm, you know what I just thought it might look better? What if I had two sofas, and then... Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait. Try putting this here. I'm gonna move, move the layout around a little bit. Here. I think I have an antique console table. I know we just opened one. Here it is. Sit here. And you bring a little closer. Do a little setup where we have it before. Now this feels more like a little space. Yeah, I like that better. You can still walk around either side to get to everything. Yeah. This antique console in the data browser. I think I only have the natural wood and the black, but the dark brown looks really good. Um, okay. A little pet bed. Cozy little spot. The door. My dog always likes to be near the door, so put it near the door for her. And what else? Hmm. <laughs> Little snug there. Um. Well, sometimes you just want to. Find a spot for something, even though it 
didn't really feel like it fits. Maybe we can. Hmm. Hey, gosh, these feel like a room divider kind of. Thing. Let's see. Maybe this is a little privacy in the office area. I mean, that is literally just floating in the room. That's it. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just look at this giant wardrobe right in front of our desk. Nope. We need more bookshelves. I'm just gonna go steal the bookshelves from upstairs and I'll make more later. Yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take these bookshelves. I don't wanna grab everything else on accident. So I'm just gonna go... Little yoink! And we're back downstairs. Right, let's just take this out for now. I want to... Oh my gosh, here we just realized now that we moved the fireplace, everything won't feel like it's all facing that way. We can do a whole row of bookshelves in the back too. Yes. Yes, we can. All right. Where are my... Here they are. Okay. Oh, they're only half blocks. That's kind of nice. I didn't realize that before. That's like the um, ice partitions or festive garlands. Face. Mm. Layer them with other stuff. Not for this room, but these would probably layer nicely with the um, iron bars, like outside to create a uh, like brick-looking building, possibly. The thought. The center that. That's a little cramp. Got a little breathing room. A little better. And now I think that wardrobe piece makes a lot more sense. I don't know. I thought it would, but to be honest, it doesn't really. Does it? What if I... No. Be blocking the books. Putting it front and center, maybe. Yeah, that's kind of... Actually, yeah, that's... That makes more sense. Oh my gosh, I think I have a blue marlin. A hanging marlin. That'll, that'll look good. Yes. Here we go. Right there. Perfect. I love it. Yep. Keeping that. And... E. This kind of vibes like an off face. Overdo it. I think we're overdoing it. Maybe somewhere else for those plaques because I really like them.
just, I just want to see that centered. There we go. Let's walk in for a little feel. Okay. Okay, this is actually starting to come along. I mean, in the beginning, this was a very cold room, and now it's like quite warm and cozy. Oh my gosh, the fire. Hold on, we have to. We have to, you know what I'm gonna do, right? Yes, oh, that's it. We get to warm up by the fire now. <laughs> Yay, I'm loving this. Oh, that's cute. You. Hey, um, what else do we need? Plants. <laughs> yes. All right, let's look at which plants will look nice. Um, yeah, let's go in this way. I like this here. Maybe actually not on that wall. We already have a lot. Put it behind the chair there. Like, yeah, right there. That's elegant. More plants though, yeah?
these lights are very bright if I remember correctly. Let's see. I mean, yeah, that is like bringing in quite a bit more light into the room. Oh, that'll be blocking the Marlin though up there. We need a light that's like a half, half space. Hmm. Doesn't really work the vibe. We might just have to do in-game lighting for this room till uh till down the road and something clicks. That's okay. I love mom's candles. It's sweet because like IRL, my real mom like gives me candles sometimes and they always smell so good. I don't like everything facing the same way, so I sometimes flip things around just so it doesn't look like they were all just dropped in place. That looks nice. Um, let's see, any more lighting options? This funny day lamp has a nice glow to it. Little silly up there though. Okay, okay, we're actually starting to get some lights going now. run into this like where you're looking around you have something in mind and it's just like not quite where you want it but you know you're close oh I definitely want that on the fireplace yes yes I do Africa cool that looks good. My cousin went to Africa a long time ago and she sent me a picture of the sky. And it was like, you could see the Milky Way, like you wouldn't like a textbook, like a science class textbook. It, it, it was incredible. I can't imagine looking up and actually seeing bands of stars. Like, oh my goodness, amazing, amazing. Speaking of stars, the less DIYs, a lot of them glow. Let's see. So let's make a wall lamp. It does. The starry garland. Hmm. Yeah, this is... This isn't really the vibe I had in mind though, the starry garland. This like Leo sculpture I think would be perfect. But I don't think it glows. So I guess not. Um, what other lighting option? Fire? That, that does create a nice light. Um, I don't know about tiki torches in here, but the light they create is Robot, like it's it's a big, big glow, big glow of light. Oh, golden candlestick. Okay, 
golden candlestick is definitely a possibility. Cherry lamp. Ooh, this one's good too. Nova light might be good as well. I see lamp and Scorpio lamp. The Scorpio lamp uh, like freaks me out. Like it's really pretty, but then when I look at it too closely, it's like, oh my god, it's a scorpion. That's that's scary. <laughs> um. Okay, let's use the Pisces lamps. We have. Oh, that's cute. A leaf campfire. I want to use this. Uh, antique clock, and I want to use the street organ. They both just like make me really happy. First, let's place the antique clock here. I love it. I don't love that it's fully blocking the desk. Yeah, that might be better. Oh yeah, yeah that's cute. And then, actually now because that's there, it almost anchors in this Pisces lamp that looked like it was like weirdly floating before. Oh and then I'll put this rattan lamp on this side. We can bring some... light over there. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's starting to be lit up. Yay! Hey! Oh my goodness, I just thought of the best idea. Big ding! Instead of the blue marlin up there, let's just put a fish. We're putting a fish. Is the fish light up? Which fish? We need a big fish. Or two small fish, but I want a big fish. Uh... Pike. Try the pike. King salmon. Yeah, that almost has like some of the warm tones we're looking for too. I need to see CJ. I haven't seen CJ in so long. I'm ready for you, CJ. Um, a Dorado. Those are warm. Arowana. And do I have a saddled birch? I do have a saddled birch. Let's try the saddled birch. Oh, I just got so excited. I I love using the fish. The ray. Oh my gosh, that could look good too. Oh, we have so many good options. Hammerhead shark. Kind of scary, but kind of cool. Like in this office, it's sort of like a Dr. Evil power play, maybe? Like, I mean, only goodness in here, but um, a shark could look kind of cool. So let's try it. First, what I want to do is I want to move that um, blue marlin out of the way. So let's just do that. Perfect. And then I'm going to scoot this forward so I can light the... Oh, I guess I could light the fish actually either way. I'll just put it back. Alright. Hammerhead shark. Let's see how that... Oh. Oh, I cannot put the big fish on top of things, so it's going to have to be two small fish if we go that route. Okay. That changes things up a bit, so let's look at some small fish options. The piranhas are cool. I'm grabbing two piranhas. Maybe we'll do two of the same. Like, it might be two clownfish. Just going for, like, warm toned fish. Salmon, that could be, could be nice. Other fish are cute. 
Cut it for small fish that I have in stock. Kind of. I have some sea pineapples. Any crabs. Mm. Alright, let's, let's try what we've got. Okay. So. Piranha. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, look at the piranha's teeth. Hold on. We gotta talk about this. Look at that! You don't want that chomping ya! No sir! <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's see what else we got. I like that though, that could be it. Clownfish. Clownfish looks like- honestly I kind of like them together, like two different fish. Out of the two, I like the piranha better. Let's try some other options. A butterfly fish. Oh, that's pr that is beautiful. Salmon. I think the salmon's too big. I think it's the piranha and the butterfly fish. We haven't checked the puffer fish yet. I mean, he goes with the room. There's no doubting that. <laughs> and it goes nuts when you turn on the light. That's crazy. Actually, now the piranha is almost too bright. Let's let's see what. Not the piranha. That the pufferfish was almost too bright. Let's try the piranha again. I love it. I love it. Is this room done? What else can we do? Let's see. Oh, this this side over here. All right, we gotta figure out something right here then. Oh, what though? What are we gonna put over there? Hmm. Oh! Okay, I wanted to use the street organ. It's too cramped there. Um... Right here. I like this, and I don't feel like it feels too cramped there. Because we can still walk, walk between the desks in it. You know what, we can't, we can't really use it the way I, like, you want to be able to just hold down. I mean, for the sake of gameplay, this, this plant might just be a little squished on the library. It's, I want to be able to play this. Oh, wait. What if that's just here? And then that doesn't have to be quite so squished. Yeah. Yeah! Oh my gosh, this is it! Oh, we should have some little, like, notes or a typewriter or something right here. Hmm. Yeah, I want, I want a little typewriter. Have you ever typed with a typewriter before? It feels so satisfying. The clicks are amazing. It's the best. We don't have a typewriter. We're, we're gonna order a typewriter. Hmm. 
Green or brown? I'm feeling green. It'll kind of pick up the palm and the library vibe. Yeah, green is the play. And then over here, let's try the Pisces lamp again. I know we've had it there. Didn't work last time, but things are moving along in here, so maybe it'll work now. I just bring the Pisces lamp to here. Yeah. Oh, we did it. So, that looks really good. I think we could do like a little rug to kind of further create the two little spaces. Do you have any rugs that work in here? Just be a good option. Or do we want the pirate rug like kind of a death moment? I feel a little cramped. I think I liked it better on the TV side. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. And... Oh, I got this snooking rug from my friend True, and I love it. And oh my gosh, I've been wanting to use it. I think it's perfect. Is this it? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I think this is it. That looks great. I want it against the wall all the way. Now I want to have the front of the desk have a little bit of edge. Yeah. Read out even a little more. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I've been uh, trying out the live streams. This is my third try, I think, and who knows how the audio levels are on this. I tried to check. I did a little test, but, you know, if you're here, thanks for watching. I had a really nice time making this room with you, and, um, yeah, if you want to see more of my videos, <laughs> attempts at live stream, um, you can press subscribe. And then if you just want to let YouTube know that you like slow builds, you can like the video because the likes just sort of go off of what the title is. So thank you and have a good day.